Hey guys, so this is going to be your weekly Twin Flames reading. Today is November 12th, Monday. See what's going on in the uh, cards with the energy for Twin Flames this week. Okay, immediately. Oh wow, beautiful. Okay, Two of Swords, Balancing Body, Mind, and Spirit. This one is more up. I'm not sure. It looks like it's even. Mm. Okay, so this one was that way. So that would be correct. I got to make sure that the placement is correct, guys. <laughs> okay, so Two of Swords is all about balancing the body, mind, and spirit. Um, and we do that because there's a lot of emotions happening this week. Um, not that we haven't had a lot of emotions, but there's a lot of compassionate energy and people are having trouble opening up and not that they're afraid of being vulnerable, but they're still in their heads at this moment, okay? Um, holy cow, so Six of Swords is, with the Two of Swords, it's about balancing body, mind, and spirit, um, being okay with your past karmic lessons, everything that you've gone to, that you've gone to that you've gone through is all to build your future um we're building the future that you want and it's based upon the things that you don't want the lessons that you've already learned and have completed and don't have to we don't have to do this again guys okay so some of you guys could still be going through some karmic lessons okay and what this is telling you is that you're going to get through it but try your best to stay grounded um it's a fine line balancing and maybe some of this balancing has to do with releasing this emotions uh, these emotions and uh, speaking up I, I know it's hard and sometimes you don't feel like talking and then sometimes we have this all in our heads mind energy and it's hard to translate those thoughts um, into words but you're gonna have to work on that because if you guys are really soulmates and twin flames then you're gonna have to express this. That's one of your karmic lessons is learning how to communicate and be vulnerable in your relationships. And and you guys are to the point where you guys are solid in your commitment. Um, you know that this is your partner and this, this is your forever. Come on guys. Um, if she's your forever or he's your forever, you gotta open your mouth and speak up because when you keep things in, it, it becomes imbalanced, okay? So, this compassionate energy, you may be able to move forward on, I think it's Thursday. Let me check. Yeah, Thursday, the 15th, when Mars enters Pisces and there is a rapid progression and initiation in acting, um, how do I put this, towards our spirituality, um, <laughs> ramping up the energy towards being at peace with ourselves okay so this here these past karmic lessons and, and the two card body mind and soul is basically saying that you're going to have to take care of this need and it's only going to uh, herald you into this uh i want to say a higher boost of spirituality but it, it's like that it's going to herald you into the new cycle of releasing this energy you need to get into this habit of releasing that energy with your partner but not in an angry and aggressive way this is to boost your spirituality and this is to be at peace within yourself so you can be free to be love and free to give love within the relationship okay it's not yet that time the cycle is not com quite completed for you there's still some seeds that need to grow and come to fruition Will of cycle, uh, the will of cycle, the will of fortune has not turned yet, but it's coming. Okay, so right now we've got some work going on in our heads. You could be getting the psychic downloads. Okay, and, and as soon as you have this information integrated and you get out of that confused, lost feeling, then you'll be able to move forward. In which time, the will of fortune will be able to turn for you, and that cycle will be completed. But you're not there yet whoever you are okay four swords is reversed so oh come on 
And what do I tell you guys about taking the time to med meditate? I just said that. Anytime you expend some energy, even if you're just thinking in your head and you haven't expressed it verbally, there's this, there's this, okay, so you know what you want to say. You don't quite know how you want to say it, but you're done with thinking about it and you're moving on into how do I say this or you're waiting for the right moment to express yourself. Okay, the Four of Swords is about meditating, retreating, or this could mean that you're not meditating, which in case, uh, which uh, in that particular case would mean that you're a little unbalanced at the moment. These having to deal with these karmic lessons is might be unnerving you a little bit, but never fear, okay? We don't live in fear. That's a 3D paradigm. Okay, you pursue, but don't be impulsive. Everything is in divine timing. It will happen exactly when it's supposed to. So if you are, um, you will be moved to speak. You will be moved to express your emotions when the time is right, okay? What's gonna happen is you're gonna reach emotional fulfillment, okay? Like I was saying, it takes two, one to talk and the other to listen, okay? And then it's their turn. <laughs> it's their turn to talk and it's your turn to listen and when you have this in your relationship when you guys have already established that you guys are wholly committed okay and you're able to express this energy within this relationship it's going to bring you to emotional fulfillment um no longer will you carry this sadness uh by yourself okay share the load right this is sharing the load in the relationship emotionally emotionally spiritually and physically that's what we do with our partners is we share the load right if they can't carry it then you help if you can't carry it then they help and there's going to be times when both of you can't carry it and you help each other carry what you can and there's going to be times when you both can carry the load, in which case it's woohoo, it's a party. <laughs> happy times. Okay, so three of hearts. Speaking of happy times, like I said, it's a party. <laughs> this is close cel uh, this is celebration with loved ones, close friends, family, or just with your partner. Or because it's a three, you could be celebrating a new idea or a pregnancy or a birth. <laughs> um this is like a re it's definitely a reason to party maybe that period of meditation that you had to go through is over and you're satisfied with what you've been what you've concluded okay so now that burden burden is gone and you're relieved and you can have a good time with friends you can have a good time with your loved one but whatever it is it's definitely um intimate fun time it's time to have fun it's fun it's time to have fun and be happy don't worry be happy <laughs> okay i want to keep singing but i'm not gonna um hurt your guys ears <laughs> okay prince of swords okay wait this is this way so it's upside down Okay, so I've, I've got five cards that came out reversed. And basically, to me, what that means, it didn't fall out in a chunk. So it's not a huge amount of psychic downloads, excuse me, while I get more comfortable. But this tells me that there's a lot of activity going on in the brain. No surprise with one, two, three, four, four swords. Okay, so there's a lot going on that you have to do before this Wheel of Fortune will spin um when this information is processed or when you come out of this re-evaluation phase these cards these five cards will move forward okay and then you can get back to the process of expressing and meditating expressing taking a vacation um maybe what you need to brighten things up is to have a good time and take the load off of the burden of thinking right Okay, so these are reversed right now. So let's see. Prince of Swords is about fighting for an idea. How did, how did this come out? How did I lay it? I laid it right here. 
Okay, so Prince of Swords on the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Fighting for an idea. Somebody expressing... Well, okay. Well, it's reversed. Um, the Knights or the Princes in this deck is usually about communication. And this being a Swords card is about someone communicating a thought or an idea to you. Okay, and it's connected with the Wheel of Fortune. It came out reversed on it, so this is kind of making me feel like somebody's not fighting for an idea. They're not communicating. Okay, well, basically, they're not communicating whatever ideas they have with you. I have a feeling that they're trying to convince themselves before they open their mouths and say something to you in regards to this karmic lesson, okay? And, and, and that's why usually the prince is some kind of message or some kind of messenger, and because this is a thought card, they're not communicating communicating their thoughts to you yet but when they do that's when the will of fortune will turn for them and for you of course because this is a twin flame relationship right so whatever benefits them benefits you you guys are mirrors when one benefits the other one does too when one is in detriment the other one is too you guys are um what do you call it it's like you're climbing the mountain and you have to reach down and grab their hands and pull them up okay and they get to the level where you are and if you fall or if they speed up and make more progress than you they reach down and they extend their hand to you right follow me and i'll get you out of this is basically um you're helping each other rise you're helping each other raise your vibrations and rise to the level um that you know you're capable of um hell with both of you guys you become the power couple and you rise to levels that you never knew that you were capable of and you do this together okay with this with the solid commitment that you guys have um made to each other we also have the ace of pentacles which is reverse this is a financial reward um i think i said that earlier in the daily reading about this is new beginnings or rewards in terms of finances, but you've got some thinking to do. Um, it's not coming right now at the moment, but when you're when you get to the point where you're expressing yourself in your relationship, whatever needed to get off your chest, whatever needs to be balanced um, within you, when you do express it, then you'll be able to collect these rewards okay you might be having a hard time concentrating you might feel a little confused so you're having a hard time thinking about work it's okay you know take the time to recharge if you have to but make sure you keep up on your day-to-day -day tasks get things done you don't have to get extra done though right now you know with the three with the three of hearts um it's okay to take a break you know if you if you work for yourself you can go and have lunch at the bar and have one drink but you need to restrain yourself and control yourself unless you know uh a lot of you guys can't go do that and then go back to work um with alcohol on your breath i'm i'm just saying uh Go take your lunch in the park. Uh, pick up, pick up sandwiches, and go have lunch in a park somewhere. Go have lunch in the grass. If if you're surrounded by buildings and city, find a little strip of grass and just sit the fuck down and have a nice lunch and enjoy the beauty of nature. Okay, because that that's part of grounding too. That's gonna help. And being able to do that on the, your lunch break. You'll be so surprised how good you feel when you come back to work. You'll actually want to come back to work, okay? So this information as it's integrating, um, I don't know if you're not seeing the opportunities or the rewards not coming because you're having issues being clear um, 
and, and getting to task, but as soon as you express yourself, that's going to leave you clear. And then you're suddenly going to be aware of all these opportunities coming in in regards to uh, these are active opportunities too. Okay, so somebody could be coming to you after this um, personal expression is done in your relationship. Somebody could be actively coming to you telling you that they have an opportunity and it's based on some kind of idea that you had or related to some kind of idea that you have or you could be seeing this could be the universe giving you messages somebody steps into your life and they start talking about an idea that you had and it just lights up a spark okay and then this happens you end up getting financially rewarded you look to something new some kind of new idea some kind of new thought and because this is season of Sagittarius and Jupiter's in Sagittarius, you're thinking big and you just know that this is going to lead to something. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I threw that card on the ground. I, everything's flying everywhere. Let me fix my book. Let's see what we've got going here. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, keep your head down and keep working. Keep, um, try your best to focus on your on your day-to-day -day. didn't I just say that <laughs> basically just keep working just keep working you got this um, tend to your everyday tasks okay eight whatever you're doing it's it's becoming your scheduled tasks now okay you've been trying to put things in order and today what we're in we're in Capricorn the moon is in Capricorn okay so you're feeling uh, you're feeling the weight of the responsibility but you don't feel bad about this you're determined and um, it's a lot of perseverance and you like what you're doing you love this hard work it's um, whatever you're doing it's for your legacy okay and you love your and because you love your work it's leaving a lasting impression on you and everyone else around you eight is the number of leadership okay so like I was saying, you're not in this period, you're not in this holding pattern anymore. You're in transition from the change. You've already changed your perspective. You've already started looking at things differently. So there's no need for a shift in perspective. We are just waiting for our concentration to come back. Divine timing. Okay. And When that cycle turns, you are going to be faced with something and you're going to have to change your career, shift your perspective about how you view things because, because we are all, we are being vulnerable and sharing within our relationship. So whatever information that gets told to you when, um, the thing that's going to move this wheel forward, it's also going to be something that you're going to have to think about and it's going to kind of keep you in this holding pattern until you can change your perspective on it um this morning i pulled the tower okay so whatever thoughts that are going to get expressed it may hurt you um you may be hurt from it and you may have to take a little bit of time to change your view on how you think about it what the situation is remember now respond don't react Okay, so like I was saying, when they reveal something to you, <laughs> you might feel a little hurt, but this is not meant to hurt you. It's meant for them to be to express it to you. And the thing about the relationship is how you solidify your commitment and being able to go through that being vulnerable with your partner is you create the safe space for them to express themselves. Okay, and it gives them security it gives them security knowing that they can say anything to you and you will not flinch okay you accept it for what it is and you guys move on wow actually it's and the hell the hangman is 12 so it, it equals three which is about ideas and communication okay so changing your perspective when somebody communicates something to you the world, the world card, yet another two and one, okay? It's 21. It is about having infinite possibilities. This time of Jupiter, 
in Sagittarius is going to be a lucky, lucky time. Okay, optimistic, happiness, expansion, generosity, wisdom. Okay, so you're going to have so many choices in front of you. You're building, you're new. So you can go anywhere you want with this. Um, the vast expanse, infinite possibilities. Okay, and 21 equals 3. So this could have something to do with children. This could have something to do with new ideas. Um, learning something new, expressing it, and that's going to open up even more opportunities. Okay, see we have expression. We have expression of ideas. Okay, then we have a whole bunch of options, and then we have opportunities. Okay, I keep seeing the threes. I keep channeling children and kids. So, oh wow, look at that. Okay, so what do we got? We got three. Three three and three you're going to be celebrating with friends opportunities being able to change your perspective opening up your view and infinite possibilities so what do we got here we got three 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 <laughs> a lot to do with communication expressing your ideas children it's a very very fertile creative time so there's a huge boost in creativity also um wow I almost want to say, let me count the ways, but it's more like, let me figure out the ways. It's this last card. Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. Generosity. Reciprocity. Give and take. The balancing of energies. The balancing of energies within a relationship. And this is also about money. Okay, so wherever you were wrong before, and it's a six. So there may have been something that you did in the past that's going to come back to you and you're going to be rewarded for it. Um... Hmm, let me look at this. Your cup runneth over. Okay, so you're going to be emotionally happy and financially happy. So it looks like something that you previously did. Maybe it was a previous idea that you tapped on before and now you're learning more information about it. Maybe you filled out uh, some online lottery a couple of months ago. Hell, maybe you wrote a letter to the president a couple of years ago. <laughs> Whatever it is, this is going to be a surprise. But remember what I was saying about communicating. Communicating your feelings. Whatever this karmic lesson was, you need to open up and talk about it to your partner. Then and only then will the wheel of fortune turn for you and move forward. Okay, And then you can get to this energy. Gee -ha. All right. New beginnings. Financial rewards. And generosity okay people are going to be generous with you you're going to be generous with them something from the past you're going to be generously rewarded mm. any more cards wow this is awesome you know all the readings have been so awesome lately i mean it's made me happy beautiful okay so this is this way but it's more upside down okay like I was saying, something needs to come out. Whatever is going on in the subconscious, I don't know, maybe they're having dreams about it or they're just a secret that needs to come out that hasn't come out yet. It's still working in the mind. This is total mind energy too, okay? And it's reversed, meaning it hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen, okay? And then we have... What do we have? Where is that? Oh, Mars is going to be in Pisces and the, along with the moon, those two and Neptune are going to be in Pisces all at the same time. Okay, so this is like an extra boost of intuitive energy, psychic energy. So you could be having dreams and visions. Um, you could out of the blue with these psychic downloads, you could just have a revelation out of the blue. Um, you could recognize your soulmate hmm. the queen of hearts empathy love nurturing caring living in gratitude um she's kind she rules with compassion 
she recognizes the human condition. This came out reversed. So somebody, somebody's not feeling empathetic. And it fell out. It fell out on the world and the three of wands. These are two, three cards. Three, six. Okay, and even though I'm sitting here and I'm encouraging you to express um, what needs to be expressed within your relationship, somebody's not saying something. Um, somebody's waiting. You could be pregnant and you're hiding it, um, not saying anything, but waiting for the right moment um, because this other person it has some active mind energy and you don't want to mess with that at the moment and that's fine um maybe you're the one that needs to express something and then <laughs> and then they're gonna be like in the hangman going okay i don't know how i feel about this i really i really really need to think about um what's going on okay but eventually you guys are gonna come to the emotional happiness okay wow Yeah, it feels like somebody's, one, both of you guys aren't expressing something. One is an emotional turmoil, and the other partner is keeping a secret, but it's not a bad secret. It's, um, you're waiting on the right time. Somebody doesn't know for sure. You could be pregnant. All right, well, I'm going to cease on the regular cards and we're going to pull a couple from from the hawaiian healing intentions that was that book that jumped out in front of you a second ago <laughs> they're telling me pull me pull me pull a card for me all right let's see okay we get a good shuffle like one more. Okay, universe, one more card, please. One more card. Come on. Stop it. Flash. Okay, this is the third shuffle with no cards. By the fourth one, I shuffle for I shuffle for four. We shuffle for manifesting stability. Okay, well now they're throwing cards at me. <laughs> All pink and purple. So purple is blue and red together, right? That's soulmates. So what do we have? Oh, ha. Okay, Kamalani, heavenly child. Okay, so if you are with your twin flame, you could be pregnant <laughs> with your heavenly child that comes from the union. Four, manifesting stability. Okay, in the four, like in the twin flames, it's you two guys together, okay, because there's, you guys are both in harmony, so if one's in harmony, that's a two, if the other's in harmony, that's another two, if you're both in harmony, that's four, okay, and four is also the committed union in the twin flames relationship, you guys are the committed, and this child is really going to be a love child, okay, heavenly child, my intention is to pay as much attention to my inner world as I do the outer world and to allow myself to be the magical child of heaven that I am. Where was that card? Mm -hmm. To play, to celebrate. 
You came from source, you will return to source, and in every moment you are connected with the source. Your life is your opportunity to explore, to play, discover, and express the unique and magnificent as uh, magnificent aspect of divinity that you are. You are an artist, a magical child, manifesting and conjuring this life one moment at a time. Okay, then the next one is harmony, and it's a seven. Okay, so that's about, you know, Uranus, um, lightning quick realizations, uh, psychic downloads, Lokahi, unity, balance, and harmony. We had this the other day, okay? My intention is to create harmony within and in all of my endeavors by letting go of judgment and by allowing and embracing diversity. Harmony occurs when divorce first, uh, diverse forces... <laughs> slip of the tongue, or is it? Harmony occurs when diverse forces flow together, allowing the unified whole to come into balance. By accepting and allowing the diversity within your own being and in the world around you, resistance and judgment fall away and harmony occurs. Okay, resistance. The resisting. Where was it? Okay. No resistance. Okay, change your perspective and then you achieve harmony and can celebrate. Hano Hano, our honored, glorious, transmuting shame, okay? This is an end to a cycle. Forgiving yourself, creating new beginnings by trusting in the universe, okay? My intention is to have compassion for myself and my choices and my challenges and to replace my shame with love, honor, and tenderness, loving yourself. Shame is one of the many ways to experience yourself as not good enough. You are evolving, growing, and learning to do your best. At your core, you are a glorious being, worthy of honor and love. Nothing that's been done to you and nothing that you've done is served by feeling shame. What serves is to honor yourself by being tolerant and compassionate as you gain wisdom from your experiences and learn to do it better, okay? That opens up the world for you. Beautiful. All right, guys, that's your weekly Twin Flame reading. I'll see you guys next week. Love you.